About a month ago, I covered a situation around a massive YouTuber named Quebelcop. If you don't know who that is, probably just sounds like Rick and Morty gibberish to you. I'll give you a brief rundown. He was once okay, a beloved YouTube Let's Player. His content mainly was geared towards a younger audience. He'd have videos like first to poop in Grand Theft Auto gets a diamond sword, you know, that kind of thing. And eventually, over the last okay, year or so, made a hard pivot going all in on AI technology in order to fully replace him. So okay. he wants to phase out the cringe organic meat machine that is a human being and replace it entirely with AI. AI doing the scripting, AI doing the voice recording, AI doing the face cam, all of that. And I made a video going over it, kind of just taking a victory lap, wiggling my fingers saying I told you so, because that is a pleasure more satisfying than sex. I had been preaching like a crazy person that the flesh was limited, we, like our days were numbered, AI was gonna swoop Are you gonna be scripted or... I don't know. ...and nothing was safe. And people pushed back and fought me on it saying like it can't really replace a personality, no one's going to sit around and be entertained by AI online or anything like that as like a streamer or a YouTuber. And I had said, and to this hit in the video though. you know, that's, that's a bunch of horseradish. That's absolutely uh, in the cards. That is very possible because you wouldn't know it's AI. And that's yeah. exactly what quebelcop has been trying to do. He rolled this abomination out where it's an AI voice modeled after him as well as this fucking Nick Jr. looking caricature of himself up on the top left that does all of the face cam and all of like the pog yeah, I kind of want to see a video of that and see if it's convincing faces and all of that shit and it wasn't received super well and I was just kind of talking about how it's very primitive right now but in another couple of years you're not going to know it's AI behind it and that brings us to today where Quebble Cop released a tweet that said it was the end of Quebelcop AI. And I got tagged in this hundreds of times by people saying, look, he's giving up on it. See, you were wrong. It, AI will never work here. So let me splash a little cold water on you. You didn't watch the video. Hey, this is not surprising, very par for the okay. course for the modern internet. It was clickbait. I only did it in headlines. He played you like a fiddle, you bunch of fools. If you had just turned on that video <laughs> underneath the caption, you would have seen that he is not quitting AI, he is actually rolling out an improved version of it. People keep saying, did you hear Quebble Cops getting rid of his AI? That is just proof that you only read the headline. In the video itself, he even says, it makes it very clear that not only is that video AI, it is his AI speaking the whole time, but that the only thing that he's regretful of is that he, went it, he let it go out while it was still too primitive. He's not getting rid of AI, he's going even harder on it. All encompassing will we'll cover this. He is not seeing double down on it. Topic. Since no one likes to actually watch the video that the headline was for, we'll, we'll do it together. 11 years ago, I started my YouTube journey. My one and only goal was to entertain as many it's, people. If you even watched it for a second, by the way, if you even went past the headline for five seconds into the video, you would immediately notice that something is awry because it's not synced. The voice sync. The voice and lip sync is completely off. And I wouldn't trade this in for anything in the world. But even a dream job... OMG, it's like a dub anime. And grown it's not... This okay, it's realize. not that off. This is not something I'll be able to do for the rest of my life. There yeah, I don't think no measurement can tell. always be a point where I'll end up quitting. That might be now, that might be 10 years okay. from now. But anyway, he goes through this whole spiel. And then makes it very clear he is not quitting. That was just an attention-grabbing headline for the video and the Twitter post here. That's why we decided to train a brand new Quilt Cup 2.0 model with every bit of feedback we've received. And the Quabble Cop 2.0, baby. Uh, bigger than Cyberpunk 2.0. He is not stopping AI. Please, just fucking watch the thing that the headline is for. Every second you've been watching of this video so far, has been completely AI generated. The Quebble Cup you're seeing on the screen <gasps> right now is I can't believe it. really deep. I hope this video provides a better glimpse and a future in which I mean, this is actually pretty improved. users can use AI to enhance their storytelling, lower the barriers of entry. That is, when I heard him say that the first time, it made me really upset. There has never been a lower barrier of entry to any job position in the world 
quite like content creation. Anybody, pretty much, even if you don't have a computer, can start firing up content creation thanks to built-in content creation tools on, like, a console. True. There has never been something with a lower barrier of entry. Just your support. Completely talentless, completely effortless. You can do it right now. It's all at your fingertips. There is no benefit to using AI as some kind of lower barrier of entry. In fact, it's only a higher one because you have to pay Quebble Cop for it. That's baloney. That's fucking dirty barnacles. Regardless of any disability. I think you're using AI Max to broke So please consider subscribing and enjoy the story the real Quibble Cup wants to tell. The story of Quibble Cup AI. Thank you. Huge. So please, just watch the thing that the headline is for. So many people think that he's actually getting rid of AI. He is not. This was all announcing Quibble Cop 2.0. He is only going harder. Your stance on AI is cap? What? What stance on AI? That YouTubers using it are just to make it even easier to pump out content forever? AI is not an enhancement tool for a YouTuber. Or, sorry, a content enhancing tool for a YouTuber. It's a more minimal effort tool. Just have AI do We all know how janky some game maker tools are. I'm gonna be on the sandbox. Build the island. Do it for you. Then you don't even have to be there. There is no benefit to YouTubers using AI for their content. At least, okay. I can see a use case for certain brands. I mean, I haven't used it, but I don't know. I can't is, speak on it. For example, he did mention something that is true. It would be helpful for anyone with like a disability. That is a legitimate use for using AI tools. But for like a goofball Let's Player, there is no benefit to just having all of the footage be recorded by someone that's not you, and all of the audio recording and the face cam and all of that be recorded by AI. It's just more laziness is all. Just makes it even more mindless. Another thing that chat and I discussed last night in regards to this situation is what about AI tools? So not so much like a deep fake or voice model after a person, so AI pretending to be a human or deceiving people into thinking that it's a human being behind the content, but tools that are AI powered, such as real time translating into other languages. So taking a video or any piece of content and in real time translating it into other languages. And I actually thought that was a pretty strong and interesting use for AI, as opposed to what Quebble Cop keeps pitching. Some of his tweets indicate that he wants to sell this as a service that kind of just does everything for you. So you can just kick back and allow the AI to do all of the video production with and you have that application already translating into other very English. minimal input from the channel owner. You just sit back and let it just squeeze on the titties of the YouTube algorithm by flooding it with AI content. Not too dissimilar from back in the Finger Family era, if many of you remember the Dark Ages, God rest your soul. Basically, the Finger Family rabbit hole was a bunch of videos that were pretty much AI generated, I think they actually were at the time, where it would take a song such as, you know, five little Indiana Jones jumping on the bed, one fell off and bumped his head, it would take that song and it'd have like a very short animation with it that, that looped fucking endlessly. It was like worse than purgatory. Going to hell would have actually been more pleasant than watching the Finger Family content. And it would take that video and song and change one word in it every time. That was just another popular character. Hulk, Captain America, uh, Freddy Fazbear, whatever. And it would just keep pumping out the exact same video with one slight change to the animation and the song. And it would flood the YouTube kids section with that. Not exactly high quality stuff that Quibble yeah, you can mind touch with that. Cop seems to think it would be in his utopia where everyone's using AI to be YouTubers, I guess. He keeps trying to fall back on this copium that it's there to enhance content, but it's not. It's just purely a detriment. No one is clicking on a Quibble Cop video hoping to find a robot impersonating him. They're there to watch him play Minecraft or whatever not someone deceive them. Right now, the only reason people ever click on a Quibble Cop AI video is because they don't know that it's AI that they're going to be watching. It's there deceiving people. It's not there because people are like, man, this is really enhancing the storytelling that Quibble Cop wants to tell. Which is such a goofy thing for him to keep spitting out. What story are you telling here, Quibble Cop? The story of how Scrooge McDuck found a way to make even more money off minimal effort with AI tools? You're not telling a story. 
you're making let's plays and trying to replace yourself in there so you don't actually have to even do the bare minimum of playing a game and talking. He has other people record the gameplay footage and has and will have AI do some type of business, everything else. So that way he's not even a part of the channel, but he makes all the money off of it. And he wants to sell the service, at least based on some of the tweets I read. It's just having your cake and eating it too. If I can get a little profound and deep for a moment. All of this is something that I predicted was coming all the way back in 2020 with our music video for Skynet. Skynet is a timeless masterpiece up there with some of Mozart's best work, all about how robots from the future came to our timeline to milk us because they were powered by our cum. And if I may venture into the weeds a little bit, if you really break what? down the metaphorical vicissitudes that I put into that storyline, it fits perfectly in line with the modern AI gold rush. You see, the AI is powered by our genetic material, our DNA, at least in this context. So Quebelkop is being milked by his AI, and his AI needs that milk to survive. Without Quebelkop being milked, the AI has Man. no purpose, it ceases to exist. No one is going to watch a completely personality-less bot, but they will watch one that is modeled after a person that they liked. Thus, the AI needs to be constantly milking the supple teats of Quebelkop okay. in order to stay afloat here for its own survival. It's impressive how right I've been all along, even all the way back with Skynet. But yeah, anyway, just wanted to set the record straight here since so many people just read the headline and nothing else. Quebelkop is not stopping AI. It's only motivated him to go even further on it. Oh, so, nice. Yeah, that's really about it. I guess let's see how the AI content does. If it generates a huge amount of money, then I think it's actually pretty good. This is indistinguishable from the other. It's all in between the